Prepare to read. A crow, a lion, and a mouse. Oh my! Genre study. Dramas are plays that are read and performed. As you read A Crow, a Lion, and a Mouse, Oh My, look for the setting or where and when the story takes place, a narrator who reads words the characters do not say, a list of characters. Set a purpose. As you read, create mental images or make pictures in your mind to help you understand details in the text. Power words. Plain. Bind. Narrow. Clever. Meet Crystal Hubbard. As a child, Crystal Hubbard read everything she could get her hands on. Her love of reading made her want to write books, too. Aesop's fables were among the stories she loved most. She liked the animal characters that taught clever lessons. She thought fables could make a person wise. Miss Hubbard was happy to turn the stories she enjoyed as a child into dramas. As you read, think about the lessons you can learn from these characters. A crow, a lion, and a mouse. Oh my! Two fables retold by Crystal Hubbard. The Lion and the Mouse Cast Narrator Lion Mouse Hunter 1 Hunter 2 Narrator On a sunny plain in Kenya, Lion sleeps. Lion Snore Mouse Enters noisily talking on cell phone. Have you tasted the new cheeses at the Nairobi Food Mart? They're so good, and they're on sale. Lion wakes, grabs mouse. I don't like cheeses. I prefer to snack on mices. I mean, mice. Mouse, looking fearful. Please, don't eat me. I'm not even a mouthful. I'm more useful outside your belly than inside. Lion yawns. I'm more sleepy than hungry anyway. Run along, little mouse. Falls asleep. Narrator. Sleeping lion cannot hear danger approach. Hunter 1, carrying a rope, whispers, This lion will be our greatest prize. Hunter 2, Helps Hunter 1 bind Surprise Lion. Let's get the truck. Narrator. Mighty Lion has a mighty big problem. Mouse. Nibbling cheese. Drops cheese when he sees Lion. Dude, what happened? Lion. Looking ashamed. Hunters trapped me. I'm so embarrassed. Mouse. Not for long. Narrator. Mouse's tiny sharp teeth chewed and gnawed and tugged at the rope until it fell away. Lion. I'm free! Hugs Mouse. I learned a lesson today. You're a better friend than a meal. Smiling, Lion and Mouse exit together. The Crow and the Picture Cast Crow 1 Crow 2 Narrator Narrator On the hottest day of summer, two crows find a picture of water. Crow 1 Circling Picture It's half full. Crow 2 Wings crossed over chest. 
It's half empty. Crow one tries to stick beak in pitcher. The opening is too narrow. Crow two tries to lift pitcher. I can't hold it because I don't have thumbs. Narrator. The crows grow thirstier in the heat of the sizzling sun. Crow one, staring at pitcher. There has to be a way to get that water. Crow two, kicking pebble on ground. I wish I had ice cream. Kicks a pebble, or an ice pop. Kicks a pebble. Crow one, I've got it. Picks up a pebble. Crow two, what are you doing with that? Crow one, drops pebble into pitcher. You'll see. Crow two, are you making pebble aid? Crow one, picks up pebble, drops it in picture. Just keep watching, and you'll see how smart I am. Narrator, this clever crow can't get to the water, so he's making the water get to him. Crow two, impressed. Wow, the water is rising. Crow one, spits out pebble. It would rise faster if both of us put in pebbles. Picks up pebble. Crow two. No, that's okay. You're doing great. Crow one. Drops pebble and pitcher. There, I can finally get a drink. Begins sipping water. Crow two. Behind crow one. Hurry, I want a turn. Save some for me. Turn and talk. Use details from a crow, a lion, and a mouse. Oh my! To answer these questions with a partner. One, create mental images. When mouse sees what happened to lion, he is so surprised he drops his cheese. What does mouse see? Use details in the text to help you picture it in your mind. Then describe your picture to a partner. Two. How is the narrator's part different from the other parts in each drama? Three. Why is a fable a good way to teach a lesson? What lessons do you learn from these two fables? Listening tip: Look at your partner as you listen. Nod your head to show you are interested.